I actually never ate steak before I got married, but here I am showing you how to make beef kebabs. <laughs> never ate beef until I got married. My iron was like so low, so Bogdan was like, you gotta eat beef. So here I am gonna show you how to make beef kebabs. The easiest recipe, you just have your beef, your Montreal seasoning, your soy sauce, your sugar, and then of course your bell pepper and your onion just for whenever you're putting on your skewers. We're using stew beef. It's cut from Chuck, Ro uh, Chuck Roast, <laughs> hey Chuck Roast. And uh, we buy them already pre-cut and perfectly cubed, like these pieces are perfect right there for your shish kebabs, your kebabs. We're gonna start by marinating our beef. We're gonna grab our Montreal seasoning. There's one tablespoon. We'll link um, a recipe down below where you can make it fresh. And then also we'll have a tablespoon of uh, soy sauce and a teaspoon of sugar. So we're just gonna pour this all in and mix it up. This is about two pounds of beef. And now we're just gonna start by marinating it. We're just gonna pour this over. We're gonna go with our soy sauce and then our Montreal seasoning. And then our sugar, just like that, super easy. And then we're just gonna mix it right up. And I'm just gonna use, I'm just gonna use a spoon to mix this up. Just mix it really well so it's all evenly coated. And then we're just gonna cover it up and let it marinate. Montreal seasoning is just a bunch of dry herbs, salt and pepper, and this is where that you get that beautiful flavor in your kebab, and you'll just remember it forever, <laughs> pretty much the recipe to have. We're almost done mixing it. You can tell it's pretty well distributed and like mixed together. Look at that, beautiful. We're just gonna plastic wrap it and set it to marinate. All right, we're just gonna plastic wrap it and I'm just gonna set it to the side for about an hour. The cool thing about this recipe is that if you really had to, you can actually let the marinade sit for about 15 minutes or you can even have it overnight. It'll still taste so yummy and juicy. You'll still get that perfect marinade. But we're just marinating ours for an, about an hour and we're just gonna set it to the side. We're not even gonna put it into the fridge. While we wait, we're gonna prep our veggies. I'm just gonna use a bell pepper and an onion. I love onions whenever they're charred. It's just the best flavor ever. I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit. We're gonna use our beautiful knife. Everybody's trying to teach me how to cut with the knife. I see you guys in my comments, I see you. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut it right there, right in half. And then we can cut it maybe one more time like this. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna peel your onion so it's a little bit chunky and whole and it, the skewer will actually hold on to it. And then these smaller pieces, it's gonna be a little tough to put it on the skewer because sometimes when you string it through the skewer, they like snap in half. So you kind of want like the bigger pieces of the onion. I'm just gonna toss these in my bowl. And now we're gonna grab our bell pepper. Cut the bell pepper on the sides. Yep, just right down the ribs. And then what we're gonna do, we'll just clean this out a little bit. Not that it matters, it's gonna get all burnt up. Well, not burnt, but roasted a little bit. Just gonna clean these up like this. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna make sure we don't cut these pieces small as well, cause we want them on the skewer. We don't want them like falling off cause they'll shrivel just a little bit. So we just wanna make sure that they're like big enough to fit on the skewer. Like I don't feel like I wanna cut this one more. So I'm just gonna cut these like that. And then the skewer can go right in through this spot. Beautiful, all right. I think that's good. I'm just gonna set this right into my bowl. And then once we mar once the marinated beef is done, we're gonna put these all on a skewer. All right, here we go. I'm gonna start putting these on our skewers. I have these skewers that I had in my previous video. Actually, I had different ones. Let me grab the other ones. Hold on, hold on. Better. 
have this little curved edge because it really holds the meat in there really well. Okay. Oh, I gotta wash my hands, hold on. Ah, just kidding. Okay, so we're gonna start putting our little skewers together. We're gonna grab our skewers, these are our favorite because it has like this little beveled edge. Me and Bogdan were like going back and forth together saying that when I said beveled, he's like, what does that mean? I'm like, like a little groove. And he went and he Googled it. So I was right. I'm always right. So we're gonna start, we're gonna start with our peppers. You're gonna make sure that it has like this little groove. So it's almost like a seat for the meat. We're just gonna go right in there. And this is why you make your pieces bigger because it really keeps, like it's on there, like it's not gonna break. I like to go in where it's like a little bit longer. Just be careful when you put the meat on so you don't stab yourself. So it's long, it's not like going like this. You will kind of want it longer like that because it really cooks evenly. And then we're gonna grab our onion and we're gonna do the same thing. So we're just gonna keep repeating the process. We're just gonna go in long ways. And then you can actually add an onion in there too, like this. And grab some more meat. And just continue the process until you're done. We like to also leave a little room on our skewer so whenever it sits on the grill there's actually room for it to sit where it's not like sitting on the meat. I like to align our pan with parchment paper or plastic wrap so when the raw meat goes onto this so we're just using one cookie sheet once we put this on the grill I'll take the parchment paper off throw it away and then we have a clean cookie sheet. These are all ready to go on the grill. Look how beautiful they are. I mean, I said I was gonna have three, four skewers now. Look at this, I got five. I got five full skewers. That is the great thing about veggies. It really like makes your skewers really get full and there's only two pounds of meat. So look at this, five skewers, five big skewers. These are really, really big skewers. And look at this, look at this nice spread. So we're gonna take this outside, we're gonna put it on the grill and we're gonna eat afterwards. We're ready to put these on the grill and it feels so good outside. Not like last time we were grilling outside and there was, you know, there was an ice ring out there. So we're gonna put these on the grill. Same thing, we're gonna put these on one side of the grill. We have our fire burning on one side and our shish kebabs are gonna go to the other side so it kind of gives it more like a smoky effect. And the first eight minutes, we're just gonna leave it close the lid so it kind of like smokes the beef. Might have to move them a little bit more. And this is why we keep the shish kebabs in the middle so we have room to put the skewers on the edges of the grill. So I'm gonna close this up and we're gonna smoke them out for about eight minutes. So the meat's been on the grill for about um, eight minutes. So we're just gonna move, whew, we're gonna move the wood underneath like that so it creates an even heat. Kind of move it over. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna move the meat on the other side so they all cook evenly. And then we're just gonna stack them up all to the left. So you just move them to the left and you just rotate them. Oh wow, look at this beautiful color, wow. Pretty much we just need to finish searing these and um, they should be ready to go. Over the next eight minutes, we're just gonna keep rotating them for about, rotating, rotating them every two minutes. You can leave it open because the heat's really coming from the bottom, but I closed it. We're done um, with our shish kebabs. We're gonna pull them off the grill. Look at that. Look at these bad boys. Don't they look beautiful? They look beautiful. And they are ready to roll out, roll out of the grill. It took about 16 to 18 minutes from start to finish to complete this beautiful spread. Look at this. Let's go eat these. Mm -mm. Oh. 
out, burn my finger. That's a bad take. <sighs> they smell so good. I'm ready to eat these. I'm gonna pull these off the skewer. Let me get some clamps. So I'm gonna take these off the skewers and put them in our bowl. We like to let them rest for about 10 to 15 minutes so it like really like finishes the cook and all the juices go into the bowl and they moisture the meat even more. Pull these suckers off the skewer. I'm just gonna use, let me just get these. I should probably use, um, see if they're, no, actually they're pretty good. They cooled off by now. You usually can eat these with, with salad, potatoes. I mainly like my chicken kebabs, my chicken kebabs, my <laughs> meat kebabs with um, salad. Just really finishes that summer feel. Another good way to eat these is grilled bread. The best way to do actually grill your bread is the best way to get yummy grilled bread. Actually, you want to grill the bread and then you put olive oil on it and it's just the perfect touch with this meal as well. Yummy. Delish. Let's smash one of these suckers. I'll start with the onion. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> Which one do I choose? Any mini money mo. Mm, 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 mm. I'll go for this one. I mean, look at that. Look at that juiciness. Oh, oh, hit. Check this, check this. Right there. Look at that juiciness. Please don't over dry your steak. Don't do it. It's nasty. Don't be asking at the restaurant, can I get that well done? Like, well, well done. Yeah. This is medium right here, you guys. It's super juicy, yummy. I mean, you can't go wrong with this. The soy sauce really penetrates through because that salt in the soy sauce is so fine and it keeps that moisture in there and it's just juicy, so, so juicy. And it's perfectly salted. I hate when my meat is like over salted. So this right here, so good. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and make sure you follow us on Instagram. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys at our next video.